if you have enough money to buy this card, or maybe you can stretch your budget for these other cards, which one should you buy? It's April 2022 and GPU prices have started to normalize, but we have Bitcoin and Ethereum that's looming on the horizon. And you need a card right now, which one of these cards would be the best one for you? In um, the Blanket Advisor, just buy a Nyrx 6600 non-XT It's not necessarily the best advice. What? Really Overseer PC? But I thought you wanted us to buy it, bro. Yes, it depends. Anyway, let's go. Bro. I want to do those massive builds of performance mode with 240 FPS stable like clicks bruh. Get the RTX 3050. I don't know what Epic Games has done with AMD cards. They don't seem to work on performance mode on pub games. Yes, only on random pub games. Creative is fine, but somehow Epic has gimped AMD's performance mode on pub games. So if you really want to go theme red, either RX 6500 XT or RX 6600 will be fine, but you will need to use GX12, not performance mode. Bruh, I just want that the fastest card for my money, like the fastest bruh. I just want the best FPS, the most stable frame times, bruh, for Warzone. In that case, get the RX 6600 non XT. It is the fastest card in the bunch. Even if you use DLSS on the RTX 3050, it stands no chance with the RX 6600 non XT's raw performance. And unlike Fortnite, these other games run pretty well on the RX 6600 non XT. AMD now have their driver based upscaling technology RSR, which can be enabled on any game. So you can bump your FPS if you enable RSR. Bruh, I only play Valorant, bruh, like nothing else. Does this even really matter to me, bruh? Valorant heavily relies on CPU performance as compared to GPU. All three of these GPUs can run really high FPS at 1080p competitive settings. But if you truly want the best performance, pick the AMD card. With titles like CSGO and Valorant, modern AMD GPUs tend to perform better even though it's a CPU bottleneck scenario. And this is what they call like a driver overhead. Bruh, but what about if I just want to stream games and become famous someday like Ludwig, the XQC and Dr. Disrespect? Um, but my internet connection is really crap, bruh. What is a suggest? In that case, get the RTX 3050 and use NVENC as your main streaming encoder. If you're running 3500kbps bitrate, NVIDIA's NVENC will fit your needs. Normally people opting to buy these three cards would have an entry level processor so X264 encoder wouldn't be a good option so I'd rather stick with NVIDIA NVENC, it's really good in low bitrate scenarios. Bruh. I have like gigabits of fiber connection and I just want to stream all day long bruh. What's the best card for me? I think the current maximum bitrate for Twitch is around 8000 kbps. Uh, with this you have two options. You can go either RTX 3050 and use the NVENC for your encoder but you would be held back by the card's raw performance. Or you can pick the RX 6600 non XT if you prefer to have higher FPS but still have an okay streaming quality. However, you will probably need to pair this with an Intel non F CPU so you can use the iGPU as the encoder. Alternatively, you could also buy those high core CPUs like these ones over here and use X264 Fast as your encoder. But bruh, what about NVIDIA Broadcast bruh? It's such amazing blur effect bruh. I don't need that green screen film bruh. Don't use a video broadcast, it's crap, like it will significantly affect your gaming performance. Well, if you prefer that blur effect but have a stuttering frame time, then go for it. Otherwise, it's probably more effective to actually buy a green yeah, screen boy. and just add those layers and OBS. But mate, I game and I actually use my PC for video editing because, um, you know, I'm a video editor. Then what you need is this. Oh. But what about the GPU? If you're using a GPU based rendering like DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't really matter if you go RX 6600 or the RTX 3050. Both cards are not really that strong and have the same VRAM. Maybe the RTX 3050 could be a little bit better. And in terms of Premiere Pro, it's more or less CPU dependent than actually GPU. So you actually need a stronger CPU if you want to have better editing experience. Bruh, I just want to experience ray tracing in 
all its glory and immerse myself in a single player game, bruh. Huh. Um, don't play with ray tracing. These cars are not that fast, with, even with DLSS or RSR, FSR. Uh, maybe if you enjoy playing at 720p with ray tracing, eh, that may work. But the reality is, this current hardware is not strong enough to handle ray tracing, although it is capable of doing it. Huh, peasants. I've got an i9-12900K Z690 board and all the bangs. But I don't want to pay for scalpers and all their crap. I want to buy things at MSRP because I'm a true gamer. In that case, buy the RX 6500 XT and use it as a placeholder. And then once you find a better card later on at MSRP, then you can sell that card and buy it at better card. And of course, hand that RX 6500 XT to another gamer. Uh, bro, I can only afford an RX 6500 XT, but I'm using a PCIe 3.0 board, bro. And I've read that it would suck in performance unless if I use the PCIe 4.0 board. And that is correct. And chances are you are probably using a Ryzen rig. I'm assuming you are. Most people who buy AMD graphics card will also have an AMD CPU. And if you are using an older Ryzen motherboard or a third generation Ryzen, just swap out your board with a new B550 board. Sell your old board and you're good to go. You now have PCIe 4.0. If you are on other, much more older platforms, I would suggest to look for another card, like maybe used cards, or maybe you could just save up to get the RTX 3050 or the RX 6600. Bruh, don't forget about me, I'm a gamer, yeah, but I don't stream and all that stuff, but I like to earn Bitcoin and on the side with nice hash, bruh. Like, I gotta have some of that digital gold dust, bruh, because it's the future. And I'm technically not part of the problem, I'm actually a gamer that wants to earn some money, bruh. Well, if you're into part-time mining, yes, some gamers do this, I suggest you get the RX 6600 non-XT. It has decent hash rates with really good efficiency compared to RTX 3050. But, yeah. And there you have it guys, I hope this video has helped you with your decision and if you're thinking of maybe going further and increasing your budget going into the RTX 3060 and the RX 6600 XT range, watch this video right here and I'll see you guys over here.